Hi, we are Irander. Today, I will show you some reasons that your project is not suitable for our farm. This video, I will do an experiment with Blender. I will try a render in my personal computer, then compare with some of Irander servers. Here we have four Blender files. All of them are demo files on Blender official website. Go to Blender website, go to download then demo files. As you can see, and with the UI file, just go here, and you can find it. Three of them are small files, that only take little time to render per frame, but the last one, the UI file is a big file can take several hours to render. This is my personal computer, it has high clock of CPU, it can read the file really fast. Now, let's try. As you can see, it takes just over 2 seconds to render per frame. Okay, I think that's enough, let's move on to the next file. This one, I will just render with single frame. It takes just over 10 seconds to complete. Let's try again. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's move on to the next file. As you can see, it takes longer than the previous file to render but the GPU doesn't work that much. This is because every file is different, some files will take longer to load, and that process uses CPU. 22 seconds in the first time. And at later times, it only took 20 seconds. All these files are set up with EV for rendering, real-time render. It doesn't use CUDA cores for rendering like Cycles Engine, or other GPU rendering engines. Except for this file, this is already set up with Cycles rendering by GPU, so it will be computed using CUDA cores. CUDA cores now are calculating, as you can see, it takes more than 71 hours to render this frame. I will try to reduce the samples to 128. four and a half hours. Okay, let's switch to Irander servers. Here I have an old image with 6x RTX 3090 that I tested before, now just boot it. I also create a new image with a single RTX 3090 GPU, so I can boot it later. You can see that the CPU of the multi-GPU machine has a higher number of cores and threads than the single GPU, but the clock is lower. One more thing, after the machine starts, the system will begin to count the time. So make sure you upload the scene file and all the necessary data before you boot the machine to your cloud storage, such as Google Drive, then you can download it in the machine later. For someone who doesn't have enough space on their cloud storage, 
you can use our sync app. This is it, you can upload and download files here on the Z drive, and all the data will sync to the Z drive and your all images, upload and download at any time, even when the machine is not running. As you can see here, all my files are synchronized in this Z drive, now I just have to upload my new files to the application, but in this case, all the files seem very small, so I simply just have to copy and paste. With huge data such as several gigabytes, you should use our application, or another cloud storage, it's up to you, but remember, do it before you boot the machine. Here is where you can download our application. And with the X drive, which is where we put all the 3D software setup files you might need, you cannot upload or download from there. But remember one thing, X and Z drives are network drives only, so make sure all data and files are copied to C drive or desktop before you can use it, including the software installation file. If you don't do this, your output files that you render may be corrupted and your software may not work. This is an old image that I tested before, so we don't have to install Blender anymore. The first thing you do when starting a new machine, you should check if all the GPUs are available on Task Manager. I have installed new NVIDIA Studio Driver because RTX 30 series GPUs may not work well sometimes. Alright here we go. As you can see, it really takes a long time to render per frame, this is because the CPU has a low clock, and it takes time to send the data to the GPUs. This CPU has a lot of cores which is great for rendering, but we are using GPU for rendering, so we don't need that, we need high clock CPU, not number of cores. We will upgrade this in the future. Over 6 seconds, much longer than my computer. Well, over 6 seconds, only half faster than my computer. Thirty-three seconds, my computer just took twenty-two seconds to render this one. Why does this happen, while the second file renders faster? Like I said before, when I tested it on my computer, it took longer than the second file to render, but the GPU didn't work as much. This is because every file is different, some files take longer to load before it is transmitted to GPU for rendering, and that process uses CPU. Okay, last one, render with cycles. Almost 6 hours to render, much faster than my computer, which takes more than 71 hours.
Okay, now let's move on to another machine with a single RTX 3090. By the way, you can't shut down from here, just do it from web, the system will automatically shut down after about one minute. Check if the GPU is there, then install your software, this image I just created, so it really clean. X and Z drives are network drives only, so make sure all data and files are copied to C drive or desktop before you can use it, including the software installation file. If you don't do this, your output files that you render may be corrupted and your software may not work. This machine loads really fast with higher CPU clock for single core processes. As you can see, rendering seems fine now, not as fast as my computer, because my computer CPU is still more powerful than this one. So what is the solution? There is no solution for this case, each frame render too fast just a few seconds, only if you can find a computer with a higher CPU clock, and with single GPU. This file renders faster with only 4 seconds, my computer spends over 10 seconds to render this frame. The time that this file loads into the GPU to render is almost instantaneous, no processing time at the CPU. But check the third one, it takes longer to load like I just tested earlier. Same result with my computer, faster than 6 RTX 3090 server with low CPU clock. Something went wrong, it kept loading like this, and I tried installing the latest version of NVIDIA Studio and restarting the machine, but it didn't work. Finally. I reinstalled another version of Blender and it worked. Really good, just over 12 hours, compared to my computer, it took more than 71 hours to render this frame. Conclusion, CPU needs time to transfer data to GPU for rendering, and how long does it take? This depends on your scene file, the software you use, the way that software processes the data, it uses a single or multiple CPU cores for calculations.
So just check in your computer first, and then try on our servers later. Make sure your GPU renders at high performance, not CPU. Most GPU render engines like Redshift, Octane, V-Ray, etc. are all using the CUDA cores for rendering, you can check it on the task manager. So if each of your frame renders fast, about 1 minute or less, you can try our server with high CPU clock and single or dual GPU. And if each frame of your rendering takes a long time, maybe several minutes or hours, you can try our servers with multi-GPU for rendering. In the future, we will upgrade all these servers' CPU to be able to bring better performance. Thank you for watching. I render limitless creativity.